Welcome back to On of Football and the best place on the internet for your detailed football gear reviews. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Adidas Eta Zero 8.0 football cleat and answering the question, are these worth it? In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a detailed breakdown of the Eta Zero 8.0 football cleat. I'll be comparing it to the Prime Knit version as well as the Eta Zero 7.0 football cleat. I've got pairs of both the 7.0 with me here. Now, I reviewed these last year. This is the Ad Emoji version, but pretty much it is the same as the regular Ad Zero 7.0s. And I also have the Ad Zero 8.0 Prime Knit version of the football cleats that I reviewed a couple weeks ago that are on my channel as well. I got a lot of questions when I did this review on the Prime Knit version. What is the difference between the regular version that I have here and the Prime Knit version? From a distance, they pretty much look similar, but I'll tell you after testing these out, there are some pretty big differences. First, we'll look at the price. The Prime Knit version retails for $150. Now that's a $30 premium above and beyond the regular Ad Zero 8.0s for $120. Even though this cleat is $30 less than the Prime Knit, we're gonna answer the question, are these worth the $120? I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can get a closer look, kind of compensate for some of these bright lights so you can see some of the detail in the actual cleat. Now this is a, a white cleat. It's not prime knit, even though you can see that there is a mesh material. Now this is very different from the 7.0s. Now this mesh material is going to be a little bit more pliable. It's supposed to mold to your foot a little bit better than the synthetic that Adidas was using in the 7.0s. There are some big differences in the 7.0s. When you look at the silhouette, it's different. And the silhouette is going to be up to you what you think is better. Now personally, I think the silhouette of the 7.0s is one of the best silhouettes in football ever for a football cleat. I love the way that it sits on your foot. I love the internal sock liner that they have. Now the difference with this material and the 7.0s is even though it's flexible, you can see here it's a very flexible synthetic material. It's very pliable. It still is not as pliable as the mesh found in the Ad Zero 8.0s. Now that's supposed to give you a way better fit. Now I'll tell you there's another big difference and that's actually in the toe box of the cleat. Now Adidas increased the space in the toe box on the Ad Zero 8.0s. That meant if you had a, your, for your normal foot shape from the older Ad Zeros, these were gonna feel a little bit bigger, give you a little more play in the toe of your foot. That's something that a lot of players were asking for. It makes your toes not feel as scrunched. For some players like me, it makes the cleat feel a little big. I do like to have really, really tight cleats, uh, especially for some of that speed. The thing about the new Ad Zeros 8.0s is this toe box is actually a, a little bit thinner. Now, I don't know if it's thinner in the plate because this is the same plate that they use on the 7.0s, it's the same plate they use on the Prime Knits, but the amount of play that you have in the toe box is a lot less. So your feet are going to feel a little bit tighter. Now, if that's something that you like, you're really gonna enjoy that about this cleat. You're not gonna have that extra room to play. That means that some of you with wider feet are definitely going to have to go up half a size. Even for me, I can feel my toes do reach here, but I just don't have that room in the toe box that I usually like. So I, I wish Adidas would have given me a little bit more room, but maybe not as much as that in the, in the 7.0s. Now the heel is going to be very similar to the 7.0s. It's the standard heel counter that they have. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can take a closer look at that, let these lights settle down a little bit. But that heel counter here is gonna be that traditional heel counter that they have in all of their Ad Zero line. Now it's a little bit different from the heel counter in the Prime Knit version. I'll give you guys a close up look of the Prime Knit version heel counter. You can see that they do have this extra portion here to give you a little bit more of that stability. As I pointed out in my Ad Zero 8.0 Prime Knit video, you can see that the collar on the actual Prime Knit version comes up a little bit higher. So it's gonna give you more of that ankle coverage. It's gonna help that cleat feel a little bit more secure. With that being said, the 8.0s do have excellent heel lock. They actually have a little bit more heel lock than the 7.0s. 
Now that I think that is due to the collar. This is going to be tighter all around on your foot because of the mesh material that they use. It is that synthetic mesh, but that is going to allow your foot to be a little bit more stable than they were in the 7.0s. I know for me in the 7.0s, I love to use ankle braces because it just tightened up the cleat that much more. That's not something that you have to use here, even though you do have that ability, even with the cuff here. You have absolutely no problem putting it in your foot because you see how wide this stretch is, even though it is tight on your ankle. As I'm sure most of you are aware, Adidas does make a mid version, I'll call it, of the Adi Zero 8.0s. Now they have the same thing with the 7.0s. These are the SKs, standing for the sock version. So they do come up a little bit higher on your ankle. That's why I kind of call it a mid. Now this is very different. Now the sock is different than the 7.0s. On the 7.0s, that cleat was very similar to the Adi Zero 7.0s without the sock. Uh, the only difference was they had a little bit higher up and it still really cuffed your ankle. Now this one, this actually has a little bit of a different silhouette than the 7.0s. Now this is a lot wider. It almost has that same opening as they do on the regular 8.0s. As you can see here, that width is about the same. Now the thing is, this is not going to be tight around your ankle unless you have really, really fat ankles. So you're still gonna get some of that squeeze in the toe box, depending on if you prefer it or not. You may or may not like that. Uh, but this is not gonna be tied around your ankle. For some of you speed players that have thinner ankles, like myself, you are gonna have more play here. So if that's not something that you like the look of, you may wanna stay away from the sock version of the 8.0s. The lacing system has also been changed from the 7.0s. Now I mentioned that in my prime knit video. You can see here from the 7.0s, you can see where the laces start. Now they start all the way up here. They have this asymmetrical lacing versus down here in the 8.0s. Now this still has an asymmetrical lacing system that's going to relieve some of the cleat pressure. Um, it's going to tighten it up a little bit just because of the mesh material, so you do have a little bit more tightness when you pull the actual laces. They do have enough eyelets that go back. Again, very similar to the 8.0 or the 7.0s. Uh, you're gonna get that same kind of heel lock and pull they do with uh, the 7.0s because of the number of eyelets that they have in this cleat. Just like previous years, we can expect several different colorways of the actual 8.0s. Now I'm gonna try to review as many as possible because just like previous years, I do expect the upper material to change and that does change how the cleat feels and how it reacts. Uh, just depending on the upper material. Right now I think they have the snow cone version out, they have this version out, they have the primed version. We can expect something similar to like the Ad emojis, uh, even though they'll probably do a different spin on that since they've done Ad emojis already. Um, but I do expect something like a Sunday's Best and their rendition on that. And then of course they may have the animal pack as well. Let's take a quick look at how these look on feet before we get to the weight. Last thing that we'll go through is the weight of these cleats. When we think about the new material and this mesh material, I would expect the 8.0s to be lighter than the 7.0s. They even look lighter when you actually physically look at the cleat. Let's put these on the scale and see which one's the heavier cleat. We'll start with the 7.0s. As we put those on the scale, you can see that those come in at about 9.75 ounces. And now we'll put the 8.0s on and those are coming in at 10 ounces. That's a quarter ounce heavier than last year's cleat. So we can see that this cleat actually put on just a little bit of weight. Now, because it's gonna be tight on your foot, that again, that's not something that you're gonna feel, but slowly but surely, since the Adi Zero 1.0s, they have been adding a little bit of weight. I think the original Adi Zeros eight years ago now actually weighed in at around nine ounces. So it does add an additional ounce, but this is by far superior cleat than the original ones. It has a way better fit. Uh, it has a, a better plate. This is a little bit of a different plate than the original ones. Um, so even though it's getting a little bit porkier, a little bit heavier, it's still all around a better cleat. 
Now, are they worth $120? With all the things I went through, if you're an Adidas fan, I would definitely spring for the prime knit version of the cleats. I think the toe box was a little bit too tight for my comfort, or you may have to go up half a size. So those of you who have the 8.0s, I definitely wanna hear from you what you think about them, how they fit compared to last year's. Did you go up half a size? Uh, do they fit better? How do you like it? Definitely comment down below. Now, if you like my videos, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and I'll see you guys next time.